Hello guys, this is MGS Phantom Bane, and I welcome you to the series premiere of Let's Read Troll Pastas. <clears throat> what is a troll pasta? Well, first you may have to know what a creepy pasta is. What is a creepy pasta? Basically, they're um, <clears throat> I don't know what the exact definition is, what the official definition is, but basically, I believe they are. Um, scary stories based on, uh, you know, haunted video games or haunted movies or videos. They start, that start doing stuff out of the ordinary or, or just about some really creepy shit that somebody made up. So they're, they're basically homemade ghost stories. Um, I suppose, uh, I'm sure there's a much better explanation for it than that, but whatever. What a troll pasta is, it's like that. Only, they intentionally make it as stupid as possible. Well, at least I think it's intentional. So, <clears throat> so I don't know how many people are actually reading these. Um, I looked up on YouTube. Some people do troll pastas. I, for whatever reason, I feel like I should. I want. I want to read troll pastas as well, so I can give my uh, stupid, cynical thoughts on them and such. So, without further ado, here we are. Episode number one, Jeff the Potato. It has been two weeks since Jeff's incident. He now lives a life in a life filled with a with burning hatred, cruelty, and misery. He has killed his own family as well as his as his own brother Lou. Now Jeff wanders around the streets of USA killing many innocent children and people. Wait, children aren't people? Why would you differentiate children and people? Whatever. <clears throat> but what he did not realize is that there is another entity of him wandering around the ghetto parts of New York. His name is Jeff the Potato. No joke. He is considered by people the dumbest person on Earth. Or so they thought. The origins date back as far as 1992, the year Jeff got into a brutal fight with Randy. After his face got covered with vodka, bleach, and fire, he began, began screaming so hard that he let loose the dumber side of his brain. What? The screaming caused a part of his soul to flee from his body. Really? With the dumb personality combining it. Oh, okay, okay. I, I don't know. <clears throat> It would then create an incarnation of Jeff. When Potato Jeff, as a floating pile of dust, escaped from the flames, the wind blew it away, with the four elements fusing inside of him. The floating dust floats around for four days. Wait, no, that's not what it says. The floating dust floats for around four days until finally reaching New York. I, I buggered that up the first time. The pile of dust lands in, in a dumpster near an elementary school. However, the process of making Potato Jeff wasn't so easy. It took at least two months to form his muscles, organs, bones, eyes, legs, arms, and his Jeff the Killer face. When the process was finished, he spoke his first sentence. Time for people to go to Potato! I shit you not. That's what he said. <clears throat> One day, on a bright sunny morning, Potato Jeff was on his not-so-killing spree, always making derpy faces and laughing like a retard. His first vic- He first victim was to be a eight-year-old girl from an elementary school, but that's when things got bad. Yeah, by the way, that's, that's literally what he said. He first victim. I, I read- I'm reading this straight from the- yeah. <clears throat> anyway. As soon as Potato Jeff approached the school grounds, he said to himself, Heh 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 heh, this is gonna be fun. This sounds terrible. Oh god, I can't wait. He tiptoed to a playground filled with happy children. He didn't know which girl to abduct. Why a girl? Oh shit, this isn't going anywhere good. Um, so he just picked the cutest one. There, see? <clears throat> He looked everywhere, from the monkey bars to the slides without anyone noticing him. He was much faster and agile than Jeff. Don't you mean much faster and more agile? Well, actually, I'm not sure. Like a cheetah. He then looked 
His perfect victim. A cute eight-year-old girl with blonde hair, blue sneakers, a green skirt, a Hello Kitty shirt, and a pink bow on her head. Potato Jeff fell in love with her rather than killing her. Man, Potato Jeff better be around her age or there's some mighty peculiar shit going on down here. Um, <clears throat> he approached her and said, Um, excuse me? Ew, who are you? It's not Halloween, dummy, said the girl. Potato Jeff then said, It's not my Halloween costume. I actually look like... Before he could say anything, the girl said, What's your name? It's rude to ask a polite person without introducing himself. Does that make... That doesn't make sense to me. It's rude to ask a polite person without introducing himself. Maybe that does make sense, but it's not computing very well in my head. Um, well, that's not the thing. The thing is... Again, the girl interrupted him. My name is Lisa. Jeff introduced himself to Lisa. And my name is Jeff. The Potato. Jeff the Potato. I know it's a funny name, but... Lisa begins to laugh after hearing his name. Ha 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 Jeff the Potato, ha ha ha, that's so funny. Now seriously, what's your real name? It wasn't that funny, any by the way. <clears throat> Potato Jeff then explains his origins. Well, that is my real name. You see, I had no idea where I came from. It think... It think? It think it was from a street or something. Lisa s begins to get furious. Stop telling jokes, just tell me your name now. Potato Jeff was getting depressed by the look on her face. I'm not. I just want to... Before he could tell her about Jeff, she gets mad and insults him. Stop telling me lies! Potato Jeff gets a bit of Jeff's personality and shouts at her really loud. Stop yelling at me! All the kids from the playground begin to laugh at him. Lisa stomps her foot and begins saying random swear words at Potato Jeff. He gets scared and attempts to flee the scene, but it's soon caught by the principal. It soon caught by the principal. What? Get him. Get the man, he said. Security guards begin to pop out of nowhere, trapping Potato Jeff. Aw oh, shit, what am I gonna do? <laughs> then his Jeff personality goes away and he begins to act stimpy. Act like Stimpy. Who the fuck's Stimpy? I don't know. He begins to look at one of the guards. One of them says, Why are you trespassing in our school and being rude to little girls? Potato Jeff didn't answer. Huh? Answer me! Why are you doing this for crying out loud? Then Potato Jeff says to him, Duh! Cause potatoes are good for you! That's how it's that's how it's spelled in the in the text. I'm I'm not being stupid here. The one guard says, "What the hell is wrong with this dude?" Potato Jeff goes on a frenzy and begins to dance around the principal, which pisses him off. That pissed me off. Get away from me, you stupid ass! He says as he pushes him off. Potato Jeff begins to laugh. The guards grab his arm hard, which makes Potato Jeff scream. Oh my god. Is that what men is this what mental people on crack are? All of them say. Wait, they all said that at the same time? I'd like to see that. <clears throat> I don't know why, I just think it'd be cool. Um <clears throat> As soon as they are as soon they are outside of the school, they pick up Potato Jeff and violently throw him into the road. Whoa. Then, with angry expressions, they shout in unison, And never show your ugly face here ever again! And walk away. Potato Jeff then says, Mission complete! By the way, they didn't spell it, it was spelled wrong. M-I-S-H-I-O-N space C-O-M-P-L-E-E-T-E. When in reality, it's spelled M-I-S-S-I-O-N, fuck it. <clears throat> and... So, Potato Jeff says, mission complete, and runs happily along the streets. He then thinks of his next victims, quote-unquote, to kill. He decides to go after Jeff. His final words were, I will find you, Jeff. We will be together again, like brothers. Okay. In 2001, one person reported... Okay, that was my fault. I... <clears throat> I that's... 
It's really spelled... That they spelled reported right. I said resorted because I'm stupid. Now, <clears throat> one person reported seeing a strange figure with a white hoodie, black, greasy hair, a white face, red mouth, and eyes with out-of-place pupils. He was carrying a blonde woman about 32 years old. He said the following during an interview. I saw a mysterious figure carrying a lady to an abandoned warehouse while I was t taking a walk to Central Park. This does not. This will. This cannot end well. <clears throat> he was skipping while singing some kind of song. Actually, he was skipping so fast that I could barely see him. I went to the warehouse to see what the heck was going on. Unfortunately, he locked the main door, so I had to look through a window. Why did you have to look at all? I mean, this is this is some serious shit. I I would have walked away. Um, the figure placed the victim in a in a old. Not in old, a old, torn up mattress and began to make weird whimpering sounds to the woman. This is some freaky shit. Then he took a radio and started playing Napoleon the 14th. They're coming to take me away. Ha ha. He then sang along with the song, with song, not the song, just with song. The woman started to feel dizzy when the figure played the song at least three times until she died from exhaustion. I'm surprised I have, if you could die from exhaustion of hearing a song repeatedly, I'm surprised I didn't die at the hands of Gangnam Style. Anyway, <clears throat> the figure then said the following words before her death, Go to Potato. On March 14th, 2008, a YouTube user by the name of Shoop the Potato, that's the worst thing I've ever heard, uploaded a video called Potato Jeff Song AVI. The video consists of a black dim room with a man wearing a white hoodie, black pants, and long black hair dancing to the song Big Girls Don't Cry by Frankie Valli and, and the Four Seasons. It was too dark to see his face. At least two and a half seconds, at the last two and a half seconds of the video, the man laughs like, a hy like the hyena from Lady and the Tramp. I wouldn't get that reference, so I don't know. People who watched it would commit suicide by shoving potatoes in their mouth and choke themselves until they die. The video was deleted three months later. The current whereabouts of Potato Jeff are unknown. If you see this man, please contact your local police department. The end. So, what did you think of that? <clears throat> Jeff the Potato, huh? This is ridiculous, to say the least. It is, um, in case you don't know... If any of you are creepy pi creepy pasta fans like me, you should probably know of Jeff the Killer, which this uh, story was based on, and I guess it surrounds um, a uh, <clears throat> a separate uh, what do you call it sort of clone of Jeff the Killer, only he's a lot stupider and I don't know. He has some strange obsession with potatoes, which I can't seem to understand. I, I, I have no clue at all. <clears throat> so, um, yeah. First episode. How did you like that? <clears throat> Jeff the Potato. I cannot, I still can't get over that. Jeff the Potato. Honestly now. I, I'm nerding the fuck out of myself. This is stupid. I, <laughs> I, I, I don't, I, speechless. Guys, speechless. I don't know what to say anymore. But all I can say is, um, <clears throat> you can, uh, uh, well, since it's like the end of the, the video, you can thumbs up, comment, and subscribe at your own free will. And by the way, if you guys watch Yuri of Wind, yeah, that, um, he was one of my inspirations, which may have been very obvious by, uh, my, um, resulting from my sarcasm and stuff <clears throat> if um if you're going to get angry because I sound cuz I sound like a rip like I'm ripping off him or anything if you're going to go crazy over that please tell me because I don't want to be thought of as uh well you, you know rip off thing whatever <clears throat> so that's it guys uh Please subscribe and comment at your own free will, and I will see you next time.